time again. Hey, <laughs> welcome to the shaving video to my bathroom uh, shave den. Thank you, Mrs. H. Um, hope you've had a good week since I've seen you last on Wednesday and having a good weekend of good health. Hopefully, and good shaves, yeah. Okay, new razor sent from uh, GSC Sheldon Global Shave Club. This package is quite a while arriving actually because he did email me to say, have you had it? Apparently, um, I've been told, a lot of the ports into Britain are struggling vastly with uh, amounts of volume of, um, you know, imports and stuff like that. Partly due to the Brexit, partly due to the Covid and partly due to being busy with coming up to Christmas, I suppose. Um, and this box arrived, a nice little box with a skyline there. And this razor, I'll show you the box, I've got the razor out, comes in a sort of a sponge protection with a pack of the, I've been, I've said, Jemim, uh, I've, I've, I've been calling them Jemim, but they're called Jemem, Gen, Jemem, that's how you pronounce them apparently. But I'm not going to use them, it's a new razor, so I like usually to use a, uh, a blade you know, if that makes sense. And that is the Platinum, the Persona Platinum, this is the blue, uh, same blade as the Persona Red, as far as I can tell. Um, and that is here, a brand new one, so we'll put that in now. This is the razor, and it is called the Latte. It's not a coffee. <laughs> The latte, made of noble brass construction, um, meant to be tarnish resistant, um, good protection from it. It's four inches handle, the handle's four inches, I think it's 4.75 with a handle, with a head. Um, in length is a diamond knurling, three piece non-adjustable razor. And uh, the head is based on the pattern of the Edwin Jagger. Um, but they've made the base, feels a good weight, it's four ounces in weight. Uh, the base, as you can see there, is slightly different. Um, it's flatter than the Edwin Jagger, they've made it flatter. And I expect these two, if I take this off, you'll see it better. These here make it easier for the whiskers and soap as you shave to pass through, I suppose. Um, it looks standard there normal but that's the difference you can just see it's a slightly different looks like it's framed doesn't it so um while that's off we'll put the blade in so how are you doing in yourselves all right you having some good shaves have you had a good week that's what the head looks like the other side quite dark inside noble brass is it uh meant to be the one of the top brass alloys No, oh, that feels nice. It's a it's a nice solid feeling ra uh, feeling heavy razor. No overhang. Wow. No overhang. So there's safety there. Now there seems a gap in there, but we'll see. It's it's said to be of mid aggression. Um, they mark it as six out of ten. So the Merca thirty four C they mark as a five. But one thing I notice about uh, Global Shave Club razors, if they make a razor of the uh, aggression of a Edwin Jagger 34C, they're always slightly above them. You know, so if, you, if they make one based on the 34C, Global Shave Clubs are usually slightly more aggressive. Not too much, just slightly. Uh, so we'll see. Soap. We're going to use this. I've used this for a long, long time. Boots the Chemist. Uh, shave stick. Um, gonna face lather, gonna wet the face and then whoosh. brush of choice is the DS Cosmetic, this uh, tuxedo synthetic. Um, green, resin, different shades of green, nice handle. You can use, use it many times. So we'll get going, I'll just wet the face and we'll start the lather. Right, here we go. 
that's the soap. We'll let, I've cut a piece off this before. I don't know what I was up to something. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's well I class as a class as a classic scent. Very inexpensive. But good, so you get some good lathers doing this. The whiskers take off the soap, you see. That's enough. And uh, just wet the brush. No need to soak this synthetic. And here we go. Don't splash you. Not bad, is it? I've also got this soap in the bowl uh, form because, well, I don't know if it's every boots shop chemist, but uh, a few years ago, especially the local one to me, you'd go in there and they would have a stock of shave sticks, shave soap in bowls, uh, Wilkinson saw classic boot razors and you think oh I've got one I won't bother and then you'd go to look for one and they wouldn't stock them uh, for months and then they'd already and then they'd stock them so what I did then when I seen them next needed them or not I would uh, buy a couple of razors buy a couple of shave sticks and a couple of bowls and I'm glad I've done it because I haven't seen any for a while but I haven't been in in uh, in boots for a while now. But uh, anyway, so we'll try that. We'll heat the latte up. I keep thinking of a coffee, do you? <laughs> Hope I'm saying it right. It's latte, isn't it? Yeah. So Persona Platinum, brand new, no overhang, three piece, non adjustable. Let's see how it does. So it did say on the sheet, it's a very smooth razor. And slightly more aggressive than a 34C. You can certainly hear the blade. Now it sounds to me the blade is more exposed than the 34C of an Edwin Jagger. It gives you a sound, you can hear that blade, which you don't hear when it's, if you know what I mean. But it doesn't feel, may sound aggressive, but it doesn't feel that. It does feel very smooth, very nice. Thank you. Yeah, I've been thinking of uh, my late mother this uh, uh, this last couple of days because um, Friday the eleventh was uh, a year since she died, and it seems to have uh, gone very quickly. You think, you know, it's hard to believe when you think you haven't seen your mother for a year. You know, I won't see her again. But it, when you think of it like that, you know, I haven't seen her for a year. It's, it's, un, it's un... It's, uh, it's a funny thing, isn't it? 
It's something you think you'd never, you always think your parents are always there. So if you've got parents, no matter how old you are, how old they are, do as much as you can. But we all say that and things happen and we don't and it's very slick soap, by the way. Very slick. Wow. Forgot to... That's one good thing when you come back to these soaps you've had for years and you forget how good they are. The scent isn't strong. It's a nice classic, what I call a classic basic shave soap scent um, but it's a nice one it's like when you palm olive is a basic soap but it's a nice scent good performer similar to this so I'm going to try a bit of water in the brush so that first pass was very nice so from now on I'll be able to tell whether this is a mid or mild aggression now that most of those whiskers are gone any plans for Sunday? what's the uh, shave of the day? Yeah? <laughs> the SOTD and the meal of the day please very nice cross the growth latte Noble brass construction. No overhang to wet to be aware of. Or oh, worry about. Very efficient, good handle, grip, diamond knurling, and the weight balance point. I would say, don't drop it, is around there for me. So it's nice, feels nice in the hand. Amazing how you can hear that blade though. I would say it's a mid aggression. Slightly more than the 34C. You can certainly hear it. But you see what I class as aggressive, mid-aggression, may slight, slightly differ to you. Um, depends on your type of beard and your skin, how long you've There's a little weeper there somewhere. How long you've been uh, shaving really this way. That's lovely. I don't know how slick that is. That was a nice pass, second pass. Here we go. Nice brush. The old synthetic does a good job on any type of lather, really. Distributing it when needed. So I would say this razor, for me personally, is high-end mid aggression, which means... Uh, it's heading towards aggressive, so it's between mid and aggressive, heading towards aggressive. And it might feel even more so now against the growth. But it feels very comfortable. Ah, oh, there. No. I love this soap. So, meal for me today. Oh, and I'm not working. Oh, day off. <laughs> I 
I think November something. I had a day off last. So I've been working off. Very, very efficient, slick soap. How's the kitten getting on? She lo <laughs> she loves to grip and bite and it's part of being a kitten. I think she's finding her feet, shall we say. Uh, well, she certainly made herself at home, that's good. Very confident kitten. Bit too confident sometimes. Good for getting under the nose. Yeah, so that's a. Uh, I would say mid to high, mid in aggression. So it's uh, yeah, heading towards aggressive, mid to high, aggressive, mid aggression. If that makes sense. Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. There should be enough in the brush, actually. Yeah, that's enough. So it uh, certainly mows down the whiskers nicely. You can hear it, very audible. There we are. Oh, we've done it on the old against the growth, on the lips, on the moustache area. Slick soap. Yeah, about a bit of a very nice cold water rinse. And I bet it will be cold as well. Very nice. Yeah, so meal today, I'm doing roast beef. And, uh, oh. <laughs> Maris Piper potatoes, partly boiled, then roasted in goose fat. Roast potatoes, roast beef. Um, Savoy cabbage, which will be steamed, and some marrow fat peas with lashentos of gravy. Uh, very nice, and I've got some um, a choice of ales really, some brains dark, homemade tea tree and uh, witch, witch hazel, some um, a drink called brains dark. It's like a stout, like a Guinness type of thing and uh, I've got uh, another King, King Goblin ale 6.6% .6 that 
Um, so I'm going to have a couple of them. Uh, a classic again, I'm going to use the old uh, denim. I love this stuff. Come on, you gotta. <laughs> oh, I used to, I used to wear it. Right, and then you're gonna use some Arco Nem. This is the uh, with olive oil. Yeah, uh, Arco cream with olive oil, and there is a slight greenish tint to it. Don't need too much. So that's my uh, Sunday dinner. And a few drinks. And uh, I've decided I'm going to buy myself a tablet to, because um, I usually work off the laptop. So if I have a tablet, I can take it, well, I can take the laptop anyway, but. Uh, can take it downstairs when I'm cooking and stuff like that. Oh, that's nice. That was nice. Really enjoyed that. So, the Latte Razor Noble Brass Brass Alloy Construction. Four ounces in weight, diamond knurling on the handle, four inches in length, 4.75, I think it is all together. Um, stated as a mid aggression. Mid to aggressive, I think it could have said, but mid aggression. Um, I would say it's the high end of mid aggression, nearly into the aggressive for me. This particular shave, very efficient, feels nice, solid, um, looks good. I like the look of it, so uh, it worked well. The Persona Platinum Blade that was good, as you can see. I have, I've got a couple of weepers here. Especially on here, didn't go sideways enough maybe first and then, but um, there's no pain, no problems. DS Cosmetic, the green resin or multicolored green resin handle with a tuxedo uh, synthetic knot. Good old faithful boots, the chemist <laughs> shave soap, shave stick. Um, Welsh water to rinse, homemade tea tree and witch hazel. Denim classic aftershave and Arco Nem with olive oil uh, cream. Really feels nice, smooth, close. And that's all you want in life, especially on a Sunday. So many thanks, Sheldon. Good razor, worked well. Um, so if you want a razor that's slightly on the aggressive side but not too much, you could certainly hear it, hear it cutting. That might be the one. Um, if you like that sort of stuff. So, many thanks for watching. Have a great uh, rest of Sunday. Uh, great rest of the week until I see you on Wednesday. I'm going to be using a, a, a nice razor which has been sent to me by a kind friend and viewer. Um, very kind, yeah. So you'll see that. And I didn't even know... I knew the razor exists, but I didn't know this sort of variation, the colour, existed. So that is it, I'll leave you to it. Have some great shaves, stay in good health, and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. All the best.